It seems like NASA and China are each planning to send humans to Mars. Both space agencies have tentative plans to launch the first crewed missions by 2033. Right when Mars and Earth are playing a game of tag. And that's not all. Other missions may happen in 2035, 2037, and beyond. The ultimate goal is to build a Mars habitat for future exploration and research. So, how are they going to do that? Well, let's find out. Now, traveling to Mars isn't as easy as hopping on a rocket. The distance between our planets can change a lot over time, ranging from around 35 million miles to 250 million miles. And even with our best technology, it takes 6 to 9 months just to get to the red planet. So, a round trip to Mars could mean spending three years away from Earth, dealing with extra radiation, and floating around in microgravity. But NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has some exciting news. Scientists have been working tirelessly to design a minimal architecture mission to Mars. They're thinking that 2033 is the perfect year to make it happen. So here's the deal. Every 15 years, the rocky planets, Venus, Mars, and Earth, align just right to create a cosmic sweet spot. The mission will make the most of this rare alignment and perform an epic gravity assist maneuver using Venus. It's like getting a boost from a planetary slingshot. We'll speed up our spacecraft and reduce the need for making our own propulsion. The report also talked about some really cool ideas, like using nuclear power for spacecraft engines and using Martian resources to make things. These technologies could make space travel faster, protect astronauts from radiation, and make it easier to live in space. They might even let us make resources and fuel right on Mars. So this is how the plan goes down. First, we'll launch a spacecraft towards Mars. It'll spend around 30 days in high orbit, exploring and gathering valuable data. Then it's going to head back to Earth, also swinging by Venus for a quick visit. So this whole adventure will last approximately 570 days, which is just 1.6 years. And a shorter adventure means less exposure to radiation. Now keep in mind, this mission will focus on orbiting Mars rather than landing on its surface. It's just a stepping stone, paving the way for future landing missions. Just like Apollo 8 mission orbited the Moon before Apollo 11's historic landing. Landing on Mars by 2033 might be a bit too ambitious due to funding constraints, but who knows? If all goes smoothly, it could become a reality. Now for the coolest part. We don't need fancy new technologies or vehicles for all this. We'll make use of existing ones that are already in production or being studied for the Artemis Moon program. Now let's break down our Mars mission vehicle, a big puzzle of many parts. And guess what? It was put together by a community of space enthusiasts back in 2017. That's right, it wasn't the scientists who produced it first. But now, this isn't just some fantastic idea anymore. Most of these things are already becoming a reality, being made or planned by NASA. So let's take a look at this concept. First, we have the Orion spacecraft. This is the spaceship that will take the crew to the orbit around Earth and bring them safely back home. It's like a super fancy space taxi, and it might be the most powerful taxi to ever exist. It's combined with three powerful propulsion stages. And we're also using a special fuel that doesn't need to be ultra-cold like in the movies. Next, there's the Earth departure stage. This is an important part of the mission. It helps us make a powerful thrust that sends us on our way to Mars. Then we have Mars Transit Habitat. This is where the crew will live and hang out during their journey to Mars. Like a cozy space house with all the things they need to be comfortable. And finally, the Mars Orbit Insertion Stage. When we reach Mars, this awesome thing will help us slow down and enter its orbit smoothly. It's our maneuvering expert. Even the Mars Transit Habitat is being developed and might even be tested in a few years. 
That means we're on track to have the whole thing ready for our amazing Mars mission by 2033. In other words, it's all about working with what we've got and making it happen. Now, let's talk about the plan's timeline. Mid-2028, the action begins. First, we'll need to do a couple of test flights. We'll send two stages ahead of time to make sure we can come back to Earth safely. These stages will join together like two spaceships becoming best buddies. They'll orbit the red planet and then come home. To do all that, we'll use powerful rockets and 13 commercial launches. It's going to be a huge space party. Late 2032 After all that, we launched the fully assembled Mars mission vehicle to high Earth orbit. So far, this is an empty vehicle that awaits astronauts. If all is good, then it'll be ready for the final check. March 2033. Time for our brave crew and their Orion spacecraft to join the party. We launch them, and they dock with the Mars mission vehicle in Earth's orbit. They'll make sure the whole lot is just right before we head to Mars. Flexibility is important, so we can adjust our plans if needed. April 2033. Everyone's ready for the adventure. We perform a powerful burn, like a big push that sends us on our way to Mars. The crew will travel for about 200 days. November 2033. Finally, the crew reaches the red planet. Once they're in Mars orbit, they'll spend about 30 days exploring and doing awesome space stuff. Mars will be our playground. When it's time to return home, they'll say goodbye to the stage that helped them get into Mars orbit. Then their vehicle will meet up with the two stages we sent ahead. Remember these space buddies? And after that, it will take us about 340 days for the crew to come back to Earth. This is where we'll use the gravity of Venus to slingshot around the Sun. To keep the equipment and crew at the right temperature, We'll have a sunshade that will protect us from the sun's heat since we'll be really close to it. In the end, Orion will re-enter Earth's atmosphere and splash down in the water. What a heroic ending! And this would be just the beginning! Our awesome team has another plan for the bravest adventurers out there. It's called the Conjunction Class Long Stay Mission. It launches in April 2033 and lasts a long time, 950 days. That's more than two and a half years, with 550 days spent in Mars orbit. It requires fewer launches from Earth, but has some different challenges, like spending more time in microgravity and dealing with increased radiation. So we'll need some real space heroes for this one. But of course, there are some major hurdles to overcome before we can make all this happen. Experts closely looked at NASA's Journey to Mars program and found that the plan needs some serious changes. There are a few high-risk areas, like life support systems for long missions, using solar power for propulsion, making oxygen on Mars, and so on. They're also worried about timelines, funding, and many other things. So, according to them, Sticking to a deadline of 2033 might be impossible with the current plans and budgets. Even aiming for 2035 carries significant risks and possible delays. But hey! Space exploration has never been easy, right? With realistic determination, anything is possible. Most likely, the idea of sending people to Mars will be realized before 2040. NASA is working on finishing the plan and details to make this possible. So, even though we still have some tough nuts to crack before we can make it a reality, the dream of sending humans to Mars is exciting. It's a thrilling adventure full of challenges, discoveries, and the spirit of human exploration. So, let's show the universe what we're made of. And that would be mostly carbon. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.